So if you don't know, most IKEA stores are far away from the people who need to get to them. Most of IKEA's customers are younger, they live in cities, and they might have to rent a car or take the bus to get out to the suburbs where most IKEA stores are located. If you're gonna go to one, you usually plan your whole day around it, and some customers even spend a night in a hotel to get that cheap furniture fix. And so that's the first principle I wanna talk about, the sunk cost fallacy. The sunk cost fallacy says that people are more likely to keep doing something if they've already made a big financial or time investment. So that might mean running a failing business for too long, or spending more money fixing up a house that's probably cheaper to tear down than to keep repairing. And in IKEA's case, that sunk cost is how long you have to travel to get there, and then spending more once you get to the store, because you don't want to waste all of that time and effort it took to get there if you just buy a lint roller and then leave. 